As the 2015 NHL draft approached, there was a sense that it could define the decade, much like Sidney Crosby did for hockey in the 2000s. Connor McDavid was a clear favorite for the first overall pick, hailed as a potential generational talent. But what happens to the nine players drafted after him in the top 10? Have they managed to live up to the hype? Today we take a closer look at the nine players drafted after McDavid and how their careers have panned out thus far. Few players at the 2015 draft had Miko Rantanen's natural build. At 6 foot 4 and 209 pounds, he had been playing against grown men in Finland since he was 16. Despite some doubts about his ability to use his size effectively, his raw talent convinced the Colorado Avalanche to pick him 10th overall. This decision proved wise, as Rantanen posted 38 points in his rookie season and scored over 80 points in 2017-18 and 2018-19, then 92 points in 2021-22 and 105 in 2022-23. Playing alongside Nate McKinnon and Gabriel Landeskog, he helped transform the avalanche from 48 points in 2016-17 to playoff contenders the following year. Despite some injuries, Rantanen remains a dominant NHL forward. He scored 25 points in 20 games during the 2022 postseason, leading the Avalanche to a Stanley Cup. This pick at number 10 turned out to be very solid for the Avs. Sometimes, a player impresses from the moment he steps on the ice, as was the case with Timo Meyer, who scored in his first NHL game against the Montreal Canadiens. Drafted ninth overall by the San Jose Sharks, Meyer was expected to become an all-around offensive talent and potentially replace aging stars like Joe Pavelski. Although it wasn't until the 2017-18 season that he played a full season with the Sharks, he quickly showed his potential, potting 21 goals and 36 points. In 2018-19, Meyer had a breakout season with 30 goals and 66 points, establishing himself as a top young scorer in the NHL. The Sharks secured him with a four-year, $24 million contract in 2019. However, at the 2023 trade deadline, the Sharks traded him to his current team, the New Jersey Devils, who then signed him to an eight-year contract extension. While few certainties exist at the draft, Zach Wierenski was considered a surefire hit in 2015. After a dominant rookie season at the University of Michigan in 2014-15, Wierenski was selected 8th overall by the Columbus Blue Jackets. He returns to Michigan for his sophomore year, earning Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year honors. His impressive college play led to a playoff stint with the Blue Jackets AHL affiliate in 2015-16, before starting 78 games with Columbus in the 2016-17 season. Since then, Wierenski has been a solid NHL defenseman, consistently playing over 22 minutes per game and putting up around 40 points a season. Wierenski was locked in by the Blue Jackets with a six-year, $57.5 million contract extension in 2021. This contract brings new expectations, and Wierenski will need to prove his worth in the coming years. Recognized as one of the top-rated defensemen in the 2015 draft by demonstrating his scoring prowess with the Brandon Wheat Kings at the WHL, Provorov was selected 7th overall by the Philadelphia Flyers. He led the Wheat Kings to the 2016 Memorial Cup and earned CHL Defenseman of the Year honors. By the start of the 2016-17 season, he was ready for NHL action. In his first season, Provorov averaged nearly 22 minutes per game and scored 30 points. The following season, he increased his ice time to 24 minutes and scored 41 points. Although his scoring has dipped slightly since his career high in 2017-18, Provorov remained a cornerstone of Philadelphia's defense until he was traded to the Columbus Blue Jackets in the 2023 offseason, where he currently plays. 
Heading into the draft, Pavel Zaka's potential landing spot was highly uncertain. Initially expected to be a top 10 pick, injury slowed his play, dropping his draft stock to mid-first round status. However, the New Jersey Devils defied expectations by selecting the big-bodied center sixth overall, gambling on his potential as a draft steal. After seven seasons with the Devils, it became clear that Zaka may have been overvalued, averaging about 35 points per season and struggling to live up to the standards of a top 10 pick. This led to his trade to the Boston Bruins for Eric Halla during the 2022 offseason. In Boston, Zaka has found his touch, racking up 116 points in 160 games with the Bees. With the fifth overall pick, the Carolina Hurricanes selected Noah Hannafin, making him the first defenseman chosen in 2015. Hannafin debuted in the NHL at the start of the 2015-16 season, posting four goals and 22 points, showcasing his offensive potential. However, his defensive play was inconsistent. Despite making the 2018 All-Star game for his offense, he had a minus 20 rating that season. Eventually, the Hurricanes traded Hannafin and Elias Lindholm to the Calgary Flames in 2018. At the 2024 trade deadline, the Flames then traded Hannafin to the Golden Knights, where he promptly signed an eight-year extension. With the fourth overall pick, the Toronto Maple Leafs selected Mitch Marner, a highly skilled forward who averaged two points per game with the London Knights in the OHL. Since earning a starting role in the 2016-17 season, Marner has been one of Toronto's best players, consistently scoring 20-plus goals each season and achieving a career-high 99 points in 2022-23. The only major controversy surrounding Marner was his lengthy, restricted free agent contract negotiation, which lasted until the end of the 2019 offseason. Despite talk of a potential holdout, he signed a six-year, $65 million extension, solidifying his place as a core player for the Maple Leafs. Marner has been everything Toronto hoped for from a top five pick, excelling as a superstar offensive talent and enhancing his linemates' performance. However, due to postseason struggles, questions remain about whether he can elevate his game and if he should remain a cornerstone of the franchise. The Arizona Coyotes selected center Dylan Strom with the third overall pick. Strom, a big-bodied forward, was seen as the potential top-line center Arizona desperately needed. However, he struggled to meet expectations and was traded to the Chicago Blackhawks along with Brandon Perlini for Nick Schmaltz less than four years later. In Chicago, Strom found success and became a fan favorite over four seasons. Schmaltz, meanwhile, performed well in Arizona, becoming an important piece of their core. The trade ultimately benefited both teams. Strom later signed a one-year show-me deal with the Washington Capitals, a move that paid off as he earned a five-year, $25 million extension in February 2023. While Connor McDavid was widely regarded as the top prospect in the 2015 draft, Jack Eichel was a highly skilled forward who could have easily been the first overall pick in almost any other draft year. Eichel was selected second overall by the Buffalo Sabres, representing their chance to draft a game-breaking forward. With his size, intelligence, and scoring potential, the Massachusetts native was seen as the perfect player to transform Buffalo. Despite his individual greatness, Eichel's success didn't translate to team success due to injuries and the Sabres' struggles during a prolonged rebuild. After the 2020-21 season, where Buffalo finished last and Eichel missed time with a neck injury, tensions rose over disagreements on his rehab and surgery. This led to his trade to the Vegas Golden Knights in November 2021. With Vegas, Eichel found a fresh start and contributed to their 2023 Stanley Cup win. He now has the opportunity to prove his superstar potential with the Knights.
And there you have it, the nine players from the 2015 NHL Draft who were taken after McDavid in the top 10. And to simply put it, the 2015 Draft may just go down in history as one of the best.